Hello, everybody. How was your day going? This is Zisto, and this is episode one, kind of like a pilot episode, I guess you might say, of Besiege, a game I just found on Steam the other day. And it is in early access, so there's not much available, but I've spent the last few hours tinkering around with it, and I had so much fun, I just, I couldn't help it. I had to make a video. So I need you to let me know if you want to see more videos of this game. It is in early access, so there's not a lot available. But I'm going to uh, do what I can with it. It has a sandbox feel, kind of like Kerbal Space Program, the way you assemble machines. But instead of making spaceships, we're making siege weapons to blow stuff up. That sounds awesome. So uh, the only things available in the game right now are the sandbox mode right here, which I have yet to even touch. And then this continent here with the little castle on it and whatever this uh, metronome or harp or whatever that is. Ypsilon. And on Ypsilon, what we've got are a series of levels that basically teach you how to play the game. Alright, so here we're going to start here. And just like Kerbal Space Program, you attach blocks together. And we've got some, uh, some basic building blocks and uh, like a panel and some hinges. And then we've got a mechanical menu here with wheels and gears and a decoupler and a spring and suspension, all kinds of cool stuff, some gears there. Then we've got weaponry, we got spike balls, metal blades, circular saws, all kinds of cool stuff, flaming balls, boulders. We've got flight mechanics here, some wings and propellers and stuff. Uh, and then we've got some armor plating. So this kind of... This first level teaches you how the game works. And it says, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, put some put some items on here, and it all snaps together very nicely. And then it says, put some wheels down. And this is all terribly boring. Terribly, terribly, terribly boring. But it does tell you how to play, so set the machine on the ground. Then you click the play button, and you have to use your arrow keys, not WASD. Use your arrow keys. And you can drive your little crappy machine right into this little house. And the little farmer guy says, grr, that's not good. All right, next zone. So, that was really boring. <laughs> that was so boring. I think we can do better. Why don't we load up something I just made a little bit earlier? We've got to kill this windmill. Okay, here we go. Yeah. That's a little bit more like it. A ballista out of... how? Wait, how many parts at last count? Got a little machine info here. And maybe I should go over the UI and how the game controls. Since this is sort of the, the first episode, the pilot episode, you can look at some machine information here. Uh, you can even see the center of mass, which could be useful for driving around and if it's going to tip over. This guy's got 168 parts. Uh, free build mode will disable this bounding box and allow you to make big things, but... It won't let you progress through the levels. And here you can see the controls. You can flip direction, rotate, take screenshots, uh, move the camera around, normal kind of stuff. Um, all of that's basically... Uh, the, other, the other thing you might want to do is move your vehicle around if you run out of space in your bounding box. You can uh, do that. But this guy's pre-made. I spent a little while working on him. And I started with a, a fairly basic premise. I wanted to make a ballista, and I just sort of... Uh, went through the problems, found the problems, and troubleshot them. So we've got a suspension. Uh, the suspension works okay. It's not perfect. Um, the front wheels, could, this, this front axle could probably use more wheels because it can't really handle it, handle the weight of this thing. And this guy doesn't shoot all that far, but he's pretty good. Uh, we can turn around. We can steer. You have to be careful, though, not to oversteer. Oversteer, because uh, these little wheels will break if you try to steer them too far. Okay, so let's uh, let's get into position and mow this guy down. So there's a lot of parts here, and I'm, I'm using like some uh, some knowledge of basic the way structures behave under under stress and tension and compression and stuff. Uh, these guys here are springs, and you can um, you can coil them up. Here we go. See if I'm close enough. Bam! <laughs> Got it! Okay. Uh, that was fun, but let's play around a little more. So, in the mechanical section, there are contractible springs. 
you hold L and it contracts them. And the other major piece I'm using is a decoupler. If you've played Kerbal Space Program, this will be familiar. But there's only one key. You hit J and every decoupler on your, your machine will decouple. So the decouplers I'm using are right here. I've got a, a spike ball right here on the end of this thing. And that decouples so it can shoot at the windmill. And then I've got some decouplers here. So when I hit uh, play here, you can see this guy, this kind of guide that um, shoot, that pushes the, the spike ball forward, falls down onto this, um, I don't know what this is called in a crossbow or a ballista, but the, the guide that um, pushes it, and then this guy kind of goes over top of that. These guys here have decouplers, and when I hit the decoupler button, they'll fall off. They're basically there to provide enough friction just to kind of hold it in place while we drive around and whatnot and man maneuver. You have to be careful not to screw with the uh, with the wheels too much. Uh, and then I've got some springs down here. And then these are just like normal struts to sort of uh, reinforce some places where it needs some reinforcement. All right, and it goes kind of like this when you hit J and L. Oh, we were, we were a little too far that time. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try uh, from a little bit farther away. and Or not th not as far as last time, but maybe right about here. Maybe we'll move on to the, uh, the next level. You can see, um, as I'm kind of driving around, this guy gets a little bit off-center. So it's not a perfect machine <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. Uh, JNL! Bam! All right, next level. Okay, we have to reach the insignia, and it looks like we've got some kind of obstacle course. Uh, we don't. I don't need to know how to operate the camera. Will I be able to maneuver this guy, or do we have to make something a little bit? Oh God! Are there bombs? What was that? Oh, there are bombs. Okay, let's make something else. Okay, I think I'm ready. I made something. So my first impression was, okay, there are landmines in the ground. Let's make something with the wheels high up off the ground, or at least uh, the rest of the thing off the ground with like a, a, a space in between them so we can drive around these landmines. And then I drive up to them and all these sheep are coming all over the place. I'm like, okay. Uh, let's have some spinning blades, but the spinning blades didn't really work. The sheep were still getting up and everything. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> what next? There's this cannon idea. Uh, why don't I try shooting at stuff? Huh, I can't really hit anything. I need more cannons. Let's put a lot of cannons here. And then I'm thinking, okay, my, my stupid thing is so tall, and I put cannons all over it, and now it's falling over. So I better extend it backwards and put way more wheels on it. And then I got to that point, and I thought, I need more cannons. Okay, let's see if we can do this. This, this is what I got. I didn't even look at the part count. Um, I could probably fit a few more cannons on this if I really wanted to. Oh my gosh, I need a screenshot of this thing right now. If you hit tab, by the way, it gets rid of the UI, and F12... Gets you some of these awesome, awesome screenshots. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's crazy. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, let's let's try this out. Let's try first without using any cannons. I took the spinning blades off because they didn't really work. I may try them again later. Um, okay. Arrow keys. To, you have to steer this thing very carefully. We're going to try to go in between this. This landmine here. And this guy is not very maneuverable. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, are we going to do it? Now, here's about the point where the sheep start becoming a little bit too affectionate for the... Oh, Nelly. Okay, that didn't work. Try again. Let's try strategy number two. I'm going to back up a little bit just to... Uh, Improve our aim here. Ready? Blam! <laughs> Take that! I, I have to see that again. Stop! 
play. Okay, back up. I want to see it from this angle. Uh, turn this way a little bit, guy. Where's our target? Way back here. Blam! <laughs> okay. Uh, I think basically everything's dead. Now we just have to try to drive over there and avoid that uh, landmine on the left there. Full steam ahead! Full steam ahead. Just uh, careful, because this thing is actually a bit more fragile, and we've got some debris. I just went... Oh, gosh, the trees! Oh, I can't drive over the trees. Come on, tree. Oh, no, my wheels are falling off. Oh, man, but we're going to make it. We're going to make it. I'm confident. Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh, did I... Come on. Oh, I'm... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Turn. I can't turn anymore. Oh, I've got the one wheel. Turn. Turn. Come on. Uh, okay. I'm right here. How does this not count? I'm here. Right? Did I succeed? Hello. Next. How does this not count? How does this not count? I am so here. Reach insignia. I thought I did that. Let's try one more time. I'm going to back up. And we're going to... Oh my gosh, this thing is so fragile. It needs more wheels. It needs more struts. I did put a lot of struts on the thing. Uh, but perhaps it's quite heavy. Maybe it does need more wheels. Maybe they can't really bear the weight of something this magnificent. Okay. And... Fire! Did I lose any wheels? No. Okay. I think I got everything. We just have to avoid the tree. Why couldn't I just walk... Couldn't I, like, ride around the edge? Or maybe there's an invisible wall there that won't let me. So now I just have to be careful to try to avoid losing wheels. And I think the principal danger in that regard is this tree here. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. I have not counted the cannons. Uh... I think I can make something with more cannons. Hopefully later on, we get the option to make bigger vehicles. Come on, sheep. Leave me alone. Okay. We're almost there. Reach insignia. Did I blow something up that I needed to keep not blown up? Because that doesn't seem like in the spirit of the game. Because it doesn't say reach insignia anymore. We're here. Woohoo! Okay, where's the victory? No, I'm on fire! No! Oh! I did it! Yes! <laughs> we made it, even though I burnt to a crisp at the last moment. Next zone! Okay, so that... Oh, we still have the same vehicle. Uh, perimeter wall. Perimeter wall. So we've got to blow the hell out of this thing. So I think we might need armor for this. I just, as a test, I want to hit play. Are these guys going to shoot me? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I killed Gregory, Theobald, Constantine, Aldous, uh, Ladislaw, Fabian, Aldous, and Bennett. Can I get... Let's see if I can get through this gate. Here we go. I don't think there's much of the gate left. I kablammered it. Now what do I have to do? Oh, I have to get through here. Come on. Oh, gosh. What? What was the objective here? Besides blowing the hell out of that, I don't think I can... I don't have any wheels left. Okay, we will try this one next time. Let me know what you think about this game. Why can't I get through here? I lost too many wheels. We need more wheels. We need more cannons. I didn't destroy enough of this. Uh, we, we'll, we'll move on next time. If you guys want to see more, let me know below. What's this bar at the bottom? Did I not kill enough things? I don't know. What's the goal? I don't know. Bam! I've got a progress bar here at the bottom. I think maybe I didn't kill enough. That might be it. Let's see if I can... Oh, I turned too fast. Okay, never mind. See it? Oh, what is happening to that wheel? Whoa. Okay, see you next, see you next time. I'm done, I promise. See you next time. Bye-bye.